Hi, Melissa. So we're gonna talk your kiddos today. I'm going to leave names out since this is gonna be on YouTube, but I wanted to share with you some books that'll be perfect for your five and your two and a half year old based on their ages and interests. So let's get started. The first thing I noticed was that um, your five year old is starting to read or learn to read. And I wanted to mention our My First Reading Library. I'm going to mention books that weren't in our party just to give you a heads up um, so that I can highlight some different ones. So in this case, our my first reading library is a book of fifth it's a set of 50 books the first 15 plus an additional seven are actually part of the reading program that is a dual reader and what it does is it introduces phonics in a stepwise fashion so in fact the first book you'll see a number one here that's not level one these are pre-readers for kids just learning and in fact they read the highlighted part and you're going to read the other part. So they're gonna introduce those basic phonetic skills. It gives you a parent's user guide in the front, and it will also give you and your child puzzles in the back for comprehension and to help them learn. So I love this series. It's great for beginner readers. And then what's great about the set is you get another set of first level one readers and another set of level two readers all in that box of 50. So it is fantastic for growing with your child all the way through first grade. So it's a wonderful set. Check it out. Love, love, love that set. Another thing that I wanted to ch chat with you about, because I know that she's a science, she's a science lover and she really wants to learn science. It's something that she really likes. So I'm going to share with you our beginner series. So this is our beginners nonfiction series. It is perfect for her age. It actually goes up to about third grade. Um, basically, it is high picture to text ratio. So you see a lot more of the pictures. They're mostly pictures, not illustrations. And here there are illustrations, but the majority are going to be pictures. They're great information where it's the materials up here, but it's presented here where kids can really understand it. There's a box set of these guys that's labeled science. It has things like astronomy, sun, moon, and stars, storms and hurricanes, multiple different titles in that set. And that one is a really, really great one to learn with. There's also an animals box set, or you can get them individually, which is really cool. Next, I wanted to talk some math with you. So depending on where she is in math right now, this is actually one of my favorite ones for kindergarten. This is Lift the Flat First Math, and it's basic introduction to your numbers, which of course you're gonna have, but then it starts doing addition and subtraction, and it does it through both pictorial illustration and the number sentence, and it's gonna give them a chance to really practice that. It's also going to give them an idea about why these are working together because it's in this picture basis. So it's a really great set. Let's pull it up. It's a really great set to be able to get your child learning simple addition and subtraction. Now, here's what I love about this series. This is considered our preschool series of Lift the Flap, and it is not just rote memorization. You actually have to figure things out. Now, remember that because I'm going to mention that again for your son, for your two and a half year old. So this is first math. Now, if she, this is a little bit too easy for her, move up to the lift the flap, add the adding and subtracting. That's really about first and second grade addition and subtraction. And my son was using that in kindergarten. That's why I said if she's a little, if she's a little bit above that, then go ahead and move to that one. That one's a lot of fun too. Now, if she's a little bit below that, that's okay too. We have another set that's called slide and see. So there's slide and see, adding at the circus, and slide and see, subtracting. And both of those are great for those basic adding skills. So check those out. Last but not least, I wanted to mention two of our books that are great for introductory science, which I always think of kindergarten science as introductory because you want them to explore so many different topics to see what really jumps out at them. This is Look Inside Science. It's for five and up. It is a lift the flap book. And what I love about it is it kind of gives them an idea. Material science, so you have things like physics. What, what are you going to use these pieces of material for, where did they come from, and then it also gives them little steps to do. So talking about mag magnetism 
and it gives them a little checklist to go around the house and see what is a magnet for or what do we use. So we have things like plants and trees, your body, light, sounds, forces, gravity, friction, and air resistance, and then of course, earth and space. I love this book. It is one of our favorites. In fact, my son, who is in second grade, um, we actually pulled that out because we're learning about friction and some different physics concepts. And we pulled that out because his sister wanted to learn along with us. And so that was a lot of fun. We also have questions and answers about science. And I love this one so much. And we actually used this when he was in kindergarten because I wanted him to kind of ask all of those questions and find out what he was really interested in. And that really helped me to kind of plan our curriculum um, because we do homeschool. So that was a really fun way to do that. Um, but you know, how do hurricanes happen? And it's gonna actually give you all of the information in there. This is a great book to really sit down and pour through and have a lot of fun with it. Okay, now moving to your son who is two and a half, who likes noise. And I know we don't always like noise. And of course, Don't Tickle the Lion is gonna be my number one recommendation for this every single time. Without fail, Don't Tickle the Lion is probably one of my favorites for this age range. That's touchy-feely and has the noise. But I wanted to mention a couple of different ones. This is actually one of our listen and read storybooks. And in fact, it has an on-off switch and it will play the story for you as it runs. And it And it gets you all the way through there. So it goes all the way through the story. And I love that it's such a beautifully illustrated book, as well as being able to tell the child the story. I like these for my daughter's quiet time. We sit down and we read books before her quiet time starts. And then she sits in her room. And these are great for that. Because she's like, Mommy, I want to read another book. I'm like, here you go. You've had your 20 minutes of story time. Here you go. So here is another one that is also noise. This is Baby's very first musical playbook, and I love this because it really gets them thinking. So of course, it's got the touchy feelies. It's got the finger trails, which is so great for that two and a half year range. But what I love is they have to figure out which of these buttons are associated with this page. And in fact, this page has a tugboat because there is a tugboat, and it goes through. And it plays music as you're looking at the page and exploring it. And in fact, there's two buttons per page. So it's super fun, really pretty as they go through there. Absolutely gorgeous. Lots of fun to actually read and see what's going on. So check those out for noise. Now, I'm adding another one because I think everybody needs this book because it has revolutionized our bedtime routine. This is very first questions and answers. Why should I brush my teeth? And it is fabulous for meeting those two and a half year olds right where they are. So this is like, what is the potty for? What are germs? What is poop? All of those books are perfect because they meet the child where they are. They're very me centric. They meet the child where they are and then they expand out while telling the story of why it's important to brush and take care of our teeth. And then, of course, you get into the animals and why do animals not brush their teeth and all of that um, along with it. I love this book particularly because my kiddos hate bedtime routines and they hate brushing their teeth. And this one has really been a great look at why it's important to do that. Now, you also said he likes construction vehicles, and so I wanted to pull this guy out. This is Night Night Busy Town. Night Night Busy Town is one of our bedtime stories. We have another one called Night Night on the Farm, but what I love about it is if you've got a lot of time to do, you can pull these out, and in fact, there are little stories within the story, and they all have some type of learning tool. So in this case, it's colorful cars. On this page, you've got emergent opposites, emergency opposites. So you're dealing with vehicles, but you're also looking at opposites. You're also looking at constructions when you're talking about shapes. And I know that you said he likes shapes, so I that, thought that was cool. And then of course, count around town. And so you're gonna be counting with the cars as well. So this is a really fun one too for that. Last but not least, in that preschool series, I wanted to mention that we have Lift the Shape 
I lift the flat shapes and lift the flat colors. Now remember what I said, these are not books that are just going to be rote memorization, let's see these colors, or let's see these shapes, but it's gonna give them kind of practice with what they're doing. So where are you gonna find that circle? And you would go up here to wherever flap you have that you would find a circle. The same with this, at the circus. So where would you find these items at a circus? So it's a lot of fun for them to kind of utilize those shapes as they're looking at them to really think about where they're going to be seeing them. Same with colors, and that whole series is fantastic. Um, My Busy Day is really fun, and Seasons and Weathers. Weather is really fun as well. Those are both in that series too. So I hope this helped. We'll see you later.